Hi guys, welcome to this new video from Idiomas Ricardo Palma. I am Miss Square. This is the course English 1, Unit 5, Lesson A, pages 60 and 61. And today's objective is to tell the time and talk about daily activities. Let's get started. Today I have a busy day. I get up at 6 o'clock. I take a shower at 6.15. I have breakfast at 6.45. I go to work at 7.30. I start work at 8 o'clock. I have lunch at 1 o'clock. I finish work at 5 o'clock. I go home at 6 o'clock. I have dinner at 7 o'clock. And finally, I go to bed at 10.30. Let's talk about the time. What time is it? I want you to listen and repeat. It's 5 o'clock. Good. What time is it? It's 6.15. Good. Or, it's a quarter past six. Good. What time is it? It's 7.30. Good. Or, it's half past seven. Good. What time is it? It's 8.45. Good. Or, it's a quarter to nine. Excellent. Now, it's your turn. What time is it? Excellent. It's seven o'clock. What time is it? Perfect. It's 7.30 or? Yes, it's half past seven. What time is it? Excellent. It's 7.15 or? Good. A quarter past seven. What time is it? Yes, it's 7.45 or... Perfect. A quarter to eight. Good job. Now, let's go back to my daily activities. But this time you're going to help me, okay? So, I get up at... Good. Six o'clock. I have breakfast at... Excellent. 6.45. I go to work at... Good job. 7.30. I go to bed at... Yes, 10.30. Good job. Now, let me introduce you my friend, Tom. He gets up at... Perfect. 6.30. He has breakfast at... 6.45. Good job. He goes to work at 8 o'clock. Excellent. He goes to bed at 11.30. Good job. Okay. So, 
we use the simple present to talk about daily activities and routines. For example, look at this chart. With the subject pronouns I, you, we, and they, we use the verb in the base form. For example, I start work at 9 o'clock. For he, she, and it, we add S to most verbs. For example, he starts work at 9 o'clock. What about some other verbs? In the case of verbs that uh, end in SH, like finish, we add ES. Verbs that end in O, like go, goes, we add ES. Verbs that end in CH, like watch, we add ES. In the case of verbs that end in consonant plus Y, we change the Y to IES. In the case of verbs that end in vowel plus Y, we just add the S. Okay, remember that this is for third person singular, he, she, and it. What about the negative form? For the subject pronouns I, you, we, and they, we add don't plus the verb in base form. For example, they don't start work at 9 o'clock. For he, she, and it, we use doesn't plus the verb in base form. For example, he doesn't start work at 9 o'clock. What about the WH questions? We use the WH word, for example, what plus do for the subject pronouns I, you, we, and they, plus the verb in base form. For example, what do you do? In the case of third person singular, we use the WH word, what time, when or where plus the auxiliary does plus the subject pronoun he she or it and the verb in base form for example what time does he start work okay now let's practice for that please let's go to your books on page 61, exercise D. Okay, so let's choose the best option. Matt. Number one, Matt, get up or get up. Please help me with this. Excellent. Matt gets up at eight o'clock on Mondays. What about two? I start or starts. Good job. I start work at 7.30 in the evening. We don't or doesn't. Excellent. We don't have a long lunch. There's never time. What about number four? Wendy. Okay, remember that Wendy is the subject pronoun she. So, what do you choose? Negative. Don't or doesn't. Perfect. Wendy doesn't go to school on Thursdays. Five. Daiho. What subject pronoun? He. Right? 
finish or finishes? Excellent. He finishes work at 2 o'clock every day. And the last one, number six. Hossein take or takes a shower at night. Perfect. He takes a shower at night. Good job. Now let's continue with our next exercise. Exercise E. Okay, please help me. What time you get up? What do we need here? Do or does? We have the subject pronoun you. Excellent. What time do you get up? Answer to that question. I up at 7.30 on weekdays. What verb do we need here? Yes, I get up at 7.30 on weekdays. And the weekend we need here a preposition. What do you think goes here? On, in, at. Perfect. On the weekend. Next. About 10 o'clock. What preposition, guys? On, in, or at, if we're talking about the time. Perfect. At about 10 o'clock. And let's continue. And what time do you to bed? What birth do we need here? Excellent. What time do you go to bed? On weekdays, I go to bed at about 9.30. But on weekends, I go to bed late night. What preposition do we need here? On, in, at. Perfect. At night. Excellent. Okay, let's review what we learned today. So, what do we need here? What time you get up on weekends? Do or does? Help me, please. Excellent. What time do you get up on weekends? What about the answer? I don't get up or I get up at six o'clock on weekends. I get up at eight o'clock. I'll give you some time for you to think. Yes, I don't get up at six o'clock on weekends. I get up at eight o'clock. Good job. Next question. What time Excellent. What time do you take a shower on Mondays? What about the answer? I take or takes a shower at 6.15 on Mondays. Good job. I take a shower at 6.15 on Mondays. Let's continue. What time he have lunch on Sundays? Do or does? Subject pronoun he. Excellent. What time does he have lunch on Sundays? What about the answer? He has or he doesn't have lunch at 1.30 on Sundays. He has lunch at 2.30. So, what do you choose? Perfect. He doesn't have lunch at 1.30 on Sundays. He has lunch at 2.30. What about our next question? 
What time he go home? Excellent. What time does he go home? And the answer, he go or he goes home at five o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect. He goes home at five o'clock in the afternoon. Good job. Let's see. This is going to be your activity for our next class, my dear students. So here we have the following activity. You're going to write 10 questions with each activity in A, which is page 60. On page 60, you have 10 activities, okay? So you're going to write a question with each one. For example, what time do you have lunch? You're going to start with this. What time do you, what time do you have lunch? What else? What time do you get up? What time do you start work? Okay. Yes. So write your 10 questions and we're going to use them to ask and answer in class. Okay. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.